Welcome back to 28storms.com. I am Jason Moreland, and this is your Tropical Cyclone update for this early Saturday, 26th of February. Tropical Cyclone Carlos is moving out to sea, so we're not even worried about that particular storm. But we now have this new tropical low located over the coastal waters of Western Australia, and that's that feature that the models have been showing for the past half a week or so. We've had this stalled out surface trough, or at least nearly stalled surface trough, ever so slowly lifting north over the past several days and now it's located over the southeast Indian Ocean and it connects all the way down south toward Tropical Cyclone Carlos but in the area where we have our new tropical low the lowest central pressure is down to 998 millibars which is fairly low and the Bureau of Meteorology expects this tropical low to gradually intensify into a category 1 cyclone as it continues to parallel the coast much like Tropical Cyclone Carlos did over the past week Taking a quick look at the satellite imagery, you'll notice that the tropical low is not all that well organized at this time. As the Bureau of Meteorology initialized the center, it was located over toward the east over here, whereas much of the convection is being blown off to the west. You can also see this fairly well on the latest water vapor imagery. There really isn't much in the way of favorable upper level ridging over the storm at the moment, and therefore we're seeing some easterly shear over the top of the system and that's going to prevent the system from intensifying much over the next 12 hours. With all that being said, a lot of the forecast models are developing upper level ridging over the southeast Indian Ocean, so with time we do expect some organization. Here's the latest look at the SIMS shear analysis. And as you can see, if there's any upper level ridging, it's more on off toward the south, whereas we have these strong easterly winds in the upper layers, and you can see that a little bit better on the shear tendency map. We're, see we're seeing shear in excess of 30 to 40 knots up here, a little bit less right over top of the storm, but not enough room for this storm to really take off just yet. Despite these unfavorable winds, we do see a broad cyclonic circulation on the Windham radar loop. As you can see, the, the overall motion is this general way. So we definitely have an area of low pressure, and that's been proven by the surface observations in the area. Now in terms of steering, the overall pattern is much the same as it was when Tropical Cyclone Carlos was in the same area. We still have persistent ridging toward the south over central and southern Australia, and that's going to keep this broad area of low pressure on a general west-southwest motion at least over the next 72 hours. So we do agree with the Bureau of Meteorology forecast that this storm will likely develop into a Category 1 cyclone, and it will likely cause some havoc for portions of the coastline of western Australia, generally speaking the same areas that were affected by Carlos. Taking a quick look at the Coral Sea and surrounding South Pacific waters, it's generally quiet. Tropical Cyclone Diane is now finally out of the picture, and we're looking pretty safe out there over the next week or so with no organized tropical cyclones, and the forecast model guidance doesn't show much in the way of tropical cyclone activity in this region over the next week or so, so at least we'll get a short break. So that sums up things fairly well. Again, we expect a Category 1 cyclone to impact the same areas that Carlos did along the western coast of Australia and no organized tropical cyclones are expected to, de to develop beyond that tropical low over the next week. Everything else looks fairly quiet right now. But once again, check back at 28storms.com for more updates on that developing Western Australia storm.